look who else is here today. Hi friends, I'm so glad that you can join me. Today I'm at one of my most favorite places, the park. And I have a very important job to do. My friends and I are going on a nature hunt. They're right over at the table. Let's join them. Move it! Hi Myra, hi Autumn, hi Sammy. Hi, hi Mr. K. So, what are we doing here, Mr. K? Well, I thought it would be fun to go on a nature hunt here in our park and pick up litter and recyclables along the way. Litter is things that end up on the ground that shouldn't be there. That's right, Autumn. And it's important that we pick up those things when we see them and throw them in the trash. That way, we can help our ecosystem continue to live. Eco what? <laughs> an ecosystem. It's an area where plants and animals and other things like the weather and landscapes come together and form sort of a bubble of life. There's living things, mostly called biotic, like animals and plants and other living things, and abiotic, which are non-living things, like the rocks or temperature. Wait, so this park is an ecosystem? Yep, and that's why we're going on a nature hunt, so we can find all the parts of our ecosystem that are right here in our park. Sounds like a lot of work, Mr. K. It does, but I bet if we all work together, it'll be a lot of fun. That's the idea, Autumn. So what are we looking for, Mr. K? Okay, so we're searching for the things that I have on my list. So, I have trees or grass, I have animals or insects, rocks or water, and worms or slugs. I'll search for the rocks and water. I want to find the animals and insects. I'll find the tree. And I'll search for our slimy friends, the slugs or worms. On the count of three, let's say, let's go. One, two, three. Let's, let's go! go. Here. Rocks and water are abiotic. This means they're not living, just like the wind or the temperature, but they're still very important for other living things to survive. Good job, Myra. Let's go find the others. I found an animal! And it's one of my favorite ones, too! A turtle! Nice job, Sammy. Animals and insects are called consumers. They get their food from other plants, insects, and other animals to live in our ecosystem. Let's go see if Autumn has found her item yet. I found Autumn. And it looks like she found her item. What are you doing, Autumn? Oh, I'm just enjoying being under this tree. It's one of my favorite things to do. Trees are a nice place to just sit and relax sometimes. Trees, grass, and other plants are called producers. This means that they use the sunlight to create their very own food so that they can grow. Well, looks like we've finished our nature hunt. Well, we're almost done. You still haven't found your item, Mr. K. Oh, so you're right. My item's a little bit harder to find because unless the weather is wet or rainy, it's hard to find things like slugs or worms. So how do we find them? Well, we just have to get creative. Things like worms really like to be where it's wet or damp. So under rocks or logs are usually a good place for those. Come on. Oh, I found them. Things like worms, slugs, and other fungus like mushrooms are decomposers. That means they get their energy from things that are dead, like plants. Like everything is a team. That's right. Everything that we found on our nature hunt is very important and helpful for our ecosystem and the things in it to live and survive. But did you know that we also play an important part? Really? How? We help our environment by taking care of it, by cleaning up after ourselves and recycling things like plastic bottles and cans so that they can be reused again. My mom and I recycle things all the time. That's awesome. No matter where you are in the world, nature is all around us. And by appreciating the areas where we live, like this park, it helps us to realize the beauty that's right here in our own home. So what do you say we do our part by cleaning up some of the litter around here? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a great yeah, idea. Yeah. And I hope you'll pick up your part of the world too. Together, we can keep our neighborhoods and our parks a much cleaner place and a tidier place for animals to live. You're simply amazing. And remember, I love you. See you soon. If there's litter on the ground, pick it up. If there's litter on the ground, pick it up. 
We can help the world stay green by keeping the earth clean. If there's litter on the ground, pick it up. If there's something to recycle, sort it out. If there's something to recycle, sort it out. We can help the world stay green by keeping the earth clean. If there's something to recycle, sort it out. We all can make a difference in this world. We all can make a difference in this world. We can help the world stay green by keeping the earth clean. We all can make a difference in this world. Now it's time to say farewell to you, my friend. We've learned new things, had many songs to sing. Now our fun must end. I hope to see you all real soon. We've got so much more that we can do. See you later, alligator, here at the clubhouse.